Yo. Yo. How are you doing? How you doing? All good, mate. You? Good, good. Happy yeah, day. Yeah, we got in. Uh, Wayne, Tag Master Bellend is in. <laughs> awesome. Mr. Cooper, how are you? Uh, Tag Master Bellend, Cooper. Kaylee, how are you doing? Uh, Olive, how are you? Uh, Tag Master Bellend. Deek, Tag Master General. Hey, up, Deek. Uh, Olive. Mr. Hello, Winchester, man. over on YouTube. Oh. Might be a story behind that. Mr. Winchester on Facebook. Maybe not then. Rob Coase, how are you doing? We are here, so I'm guessing Chrissy's here as well. Staten, how are you, mate? Mr. Staten. Got to be Mr. Staten. Um, so, as you... Like, fucking camera's doing my head in. So, it's doing my head as well. Stop it wobbling. As you know, it's review night. We're doing part two of the ciders from Vape Cargo, <laughs> Billiard Ciders, for them to do. We also have a special guest after the review tonight. Very, very special. Hey, Chrissy. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Paul, how are you? Um, Wilkinson, good to see you, my friend. I'm surprised no one's even mentioned it yet. What? What? Putting all that, putting all that effort today. He's tidied his room, peeps. Halfway, anyway. <laughs> it's the guest Owens BT engineer. Uh, uh, no, he's probably six feet under after visiting Wilson. Yeah, I don't think Wilson would have been too happy. No. It's it's semi tidied, Wayne. It's getting there, but slowly but surely. Uh, two sections had somebody try to join the group. All good, all good, Staten. All good. Yeah, BT engineer is a bell end. Thank you very much, Mister Coase. Why so don't people? answer the questions when they're joining groups it's not rocket science is it nope <sighs> we may need to put a, a statement in the joining where people join yes we may need to put a statement from the secretary of state please answer questions or go fuck yourself um we could do I'll, I'll let you sort that one out, mate. <sighs> For fuck's sake, tidy up. Yeah. Get in there. Get in there. Slowly. Right, Mr. Harker, we need a hashtag for tonight's live. We do. And tonight's hashtag, it would normally be billiards or cider or something, but tonight's is different. Okay. So, peeps, tonight's hashtag is, I'm going to write it on here. <sighs> Wait for it, guys. Uh, you know how to use a computer, yeah? No, no idea. Of course, I think that's it. I'm just making it a bit shorter for people. It's getting there. All the time you have on your, <laughs> all the time you have on your hand in the day, James. James, or you should blitz it in two hours. Hashtag will he chunder? Yep. That's tonight's oh, okay. time. Okay, yes, yes, yes. I'll move you now. So, guys, if you want a duck race for tonight, if you want a duck, sorry, in the duck race tonight, hashtag will he chunder? 
pop it in there, guys. We're going to leave that open until my clock says 1937. So 1933. Seems like a good year. Right. Abby's one. You don't need to tell me that. Well, I just got to make sure you know. Uh, so then we got Rob Coles. Yeah. Uh, Cooper. Yeah. Kaylee. Yeah. Wayne. Yeah. Daniel Ian Lee. Yeah. And Mr. Winchester. Only seven. Let me have Deke come in now. Mr. Deke and then Mrs. De uh, Mrs. Duffy. Then Chrissy Hall's in. Then there's one for Wilson. Yeah. And then there's Paul. So we're going to leave that till 1933, and it's going to be by my clock tonight, Mr. Harkin. 1933 is 1938 already. 1943. You know what I meant. No, I didn't. You said 1933. That's what, what I said. What I say and what I mean are generally two different things. Uh, Lisa wants to know. Evening, Lisa. Speaking Lisa. Good, Lisa. I am on a lemon custard that is inspired by Lisa. Love that. <laughs> Mr. Carlton. Here he is, Mick. How do you, Mick? On YouTube. I am on the last bits of my uh, small time. Oh, that is the same to see that one go, mate. I just put a fresh coil in the velocity, and uh, yeah, I'm loving it. But then not to worry because I have Pink Princess and Crown Jewels. Revamp Pink Princess. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Great oh. flavor ever. That one, Jamie. Ray flavor ever. That one, Jay. Okay. Yeah, cheers for that, Rob. Oh, bless you, Rob. I missed today because I was, like I said, I was up uh, busy up here, mate. Yeah, I was busy as well, Rob, but you notice I still popped in. Wow, you weren't busy. Uh, evening. Yeah, Wilson, how are you doing? Evening to you, sir, as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cooper's coming in with the list, guys, as always. Jammy, uh, Jammy and the alike. Spokes in a velocity. Dodger on the Posex. I still got to try. Um, Wayne's got spokes in the Oxford Origin X. Right, there is two minutes, guys, and then we are hitting review mode. See, I told you. Tag Master Bellend. Wayne, wow. Tag Master Bellend. I told you, you said, was our special guest going to be Wilson's BT engineer? And I said, he's probably six feet under. You were close. If he visited Wilson, I was close. He's in Wilson's freezer. He's in Wilson's freezer. Oh, bless. I bet Wilson is pulling his hair out. I, 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 I couldn't live without right that. And I thought I silenced my phone. Clearly, I did not. There we go. Yeah, I saw Stu popped in and watched for a bit. The yeah. lights on the way to. Oh, on the way to. Hunt. It, and I was asked a very important question whilst I was in there. Which was? Should you warm up Pop Tarts? Yes. 
And my answer was, Pop-Tarts should be thrown in the bin. But if you feel the need to eat them, they should be warm. They should be warm. And they are awesome. I love Pop-Tarts. Right, less than a minute, guys. If you haven't got your duck, hashtag it now. Will he chunder? Hashtag will he chunder. But I'm pretty sure everyone in here has got a duck. I think so. I think so. Or, though, or just popped her head in at the last second. Is she going to grab a duck? Hashtag will he chunder. How are you doing, cows? Thank you, Mr. Cooper. Yeah, Saltcast, uh, all over YouTube now. Uh, hopefully, Mr. Harkham has filed them in the right sections. Yes. Ideal. Spooner. And in. Spooner, quick. Do you want a duck? Rara, she wants a duck. Evening, Rara. How are you doing? Uh, Deke, maybe you should uh, see if Wilson's got an engineer he can defrost for you. Craig, hashtag, will he chunder? Come on, it, it is now that time. It is 43. I said I was going to close it 43. But as you popped up before that. And no you were worries, State Man. Well, put the fucking hashtag in. Don't just say, of course, I want a duck. Put the fucking hashtag in. Will he chunder? It's on the fucking screen, Spooner. Who rattled your fucking cage? There he is. There he is. Wow. Mate, I just can't deal with stupid today. Now you know how I feel every time we go live. Right. Are you ready, Harkham? We are. We going into review mode? We are. Where's my review overlay? There it is. Ready? Ready? There we go. Review mode is on. Right, let's get some juice on this cotton first. Let it <laughs> sit a bit. Wow. Uh, Craig's back with a response. Don't start on me, motherfucker. Oh, and how do you deal with yourself, Jamie? Nice. So, dude, what are we going on first? We are going for the billiard cider strawberry. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now, last week we did a strawberry and pear, didn't we? So this week it is just the strawberry. That's interesting. So I get that really nice strawberry. Yeah. But on the finger, for me, the cider seems a lot stronger than any of the ones last week. Okay. And that cider was very present last week. Ooh. <coughs> it feels a lot cooler as well. Which I ain't complaining about. So if, that... you're, if you're having a nice fruit cider, well, any cider is a fruit cider, I suppose. Um, but it's got to be chilled, isn't it? That is... A hundred percent cooler than any of the four we've done last week. Cool. Any of the three we've done last week, even the ice cider. Oh, okay. Turn the mod on out, doesn't it? The strawberry is nice, but I feel the cider overpowers the strawberry in this one. Ah, new coil. Definitely colder. Yeah. For me, the cider overpowers the strawberry in that. I almost... It's not ice cold, though. It's, no, it's, not, it's not ice cold. It's chilled. For me, it kind of feels like... They've took the strawberry and peach cider, removed the peach concentrate, and that's it. 
So yeah. rather than the nice combination, you now have quite an overpowering cider over the peach, uh, over the strawberry. strawberry. But having said that, it is very nice. I've just gone in for double dip. It is nice. It is. The strawberries there, the cider, like you said, does seem to be a little bit higher. But it is proper nice. Yeah, I think strawberry lime would work good as well, Coops. Really good. It's the one we all know and love. Copperberg strawberry lime. Copperberg strawberry lime. Other cider brands are available. Um, yeah, I do really like that. It's a seven for me, that one. I just feel they've removed the peach. Mm -hmm. and the cider now overpowers the strawberry for me. Pear. Strawberry what? and pear last week, not strawberry and peach. Pear, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't let it confuse me. Yeah, it does. It has mixed differently. Yeah. Martin, how you doing, mate? It's got to be <clears throat> seven and a half on that one, I think. Now, the other nice one last week. Yeah, Coops, I, I, I think that is the only issue, the ratio issue. Yeah. Um, like I say, I think they've, let's for argument's sake say it was 50% cider, 25% strawberry, 25% pear. They've kind of just removed the pear and left it at that. So you now got 75% cider, 25% strawberry. Yeah. Which makes it slightly overpowering. I hope they haven't done it with the raspberry because last week the raspberry peach was real good. Nice. Yeah. So that's what we're on to next is the raspberry. Again, these all come in the uh, nice fancy bottles with the very handy flip nib. Strawberry should have been increased to replace Absolutely, Coops. I feel that's what they haven't done. So. I get the raspberry. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel as chilled as the strawberry. No. But that's hard to tell until you vape it on the finger because your mouth's still cold from the strawberry. Um, the cider doesn't seem as strong and the raspberry seems more prevalent on the finger on this one. That, that should say it all, mate. For me, a much better balance with the fruit and the cider. Must be, Coops, must be. That is so much more balanced than the strawberry. Yeah. Definitely no ratios wrong on this one. And there is still that blue slush vibe running through the bottom of this one. Mm-hmm. That, to no, me, that, that, that raspberry is stunning on that one. That balance on that is good. <coughs> Definitely on the vape, nowhere near as cool as the strawberry. No. Um, I really like that. That's a nine for me. And I was going to say, it's far more flavoursome as well. Um, yeah. I'm going for a nine on that one as well, mate. The raspberry on that is not overpowered by the cider. No. 
and it is it's again going back to what it was last week it was that nice cider it was that nice fruit perfectly yeah. balanced so yeah that's a nine for me as well mate right third one Barry Blue. This is the one. So I am this guessing we are one. going maybe blue raspberry, maybe blueberries. Blueberries, I. This is the one I'm looking forward to. I can't pick out a single fruit in that on the finger it's quite sharp mm -hmm. that's quite tart the fruit in that is quite tart the cider's there as through all of them yeah On the vape as well, that the berry is quite tart, isn't it? It's quite. I would say it is a very, very tart blueberry. I would say that's a mixture. Well, blueberry, blue raspberry. raspberry, and. Do you know, I could be wrong, but I think there's a hint of blackcurrant in that. Okay. All I know is I fucking love it. The reason I'd say that is the berry is quite tart with the cider. And yeah. then all of a sudden... You get a little, just a really quick sweet burst of sweetness. Mm -hmm. It is proper Moorish. That is really nice. I like the fact it's not overly sweet, but I really like that little sweet kick at the end. It's just That's seconds. On your tongue. It? It's just seconds on your tongue that you get. A little hit of sweetness. I think there's black currant in that. Uh, I'll have a look in a minute. Have we done the review? See if it's there. Really. <laughs> but although all those fruit flavors on that one, with that great cider base, again they got the levels right on this one. Is absolutely amazing. This is real nice, real nice. Um, the cider, which has been through all of them, really nice. Except the strawberry, which was a little bit strong, I thought. The berries, which I'm pretty sure is like a blue raspberry, blue ras, blueberry, is quite tart. And then right at the very end, you just get a real sweetness. Just a few seconds at the end. Yeah. Sweetness. Uh, real nice. I can imagine me sat at the park with that one, mate, just puffing away all afternoon. Mate, I used to sit down the park drinking cider when I was a teenager, not when I'm 30 odd. Stuart, we're not on about white lightning. All right. <laughs> this is high class stuff, mate. So we're going on to the last one now, aren't we? Oh, so, no, and scored it. I know what I'm scoring this one. This the, berry, the berry for me is a 10. I was going to say it's the first 10 of the night. Yeah, 100%. That is really nice. Nicely, nicely done that. It is a double 10 as well. Now I'm just not wasting this one. <laughs> Mm. 
That's anal day fishing. Coops. Whatever floats your boat, mate. Whatever. We know he meant all day, but it looks better anal yeah. day fishing, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Coops is off anal fishing. Okay. You are stuck. <laughs> Yeah, Coops, perfect. Sat beside the lake with that berry blue. It, it, I love the tartness with that hit of sweetness. Yeah. Mate, I'll just finger the next one. And, oh, 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 I'm going to say. Cloudy lemon. Mm-hmm. Don't quote me on it, but I think we got two back to back. Just on the finger test, that is. <clears throat> so on the finger, you get you get the cider as always. Mm -hmm. the lemon. Is not it's not too sour. No, the lemon is nice. And again, that lemon's not sour. Or the sour fizz on this one is more prevalent as well. Mm -hmm. I'm not normally a huge lemon fan, but oh, that is good. Do you know what this is? reminded me of old school lemonade this is like this is like getting a pint glass with some ice in mm -hmm. pouring half of the pint glass with cider I and half of the glass with cloudy lemonade so it's, it's, like, candy. it's like a cider sh oh that is I think I caught it, didn't I? That is good. That is really good. It's refreshing. It's awakening. It's, like Cooper said, it is zingy. It is all. Oh. It literally is a cider shandy made with cloudy lemonade. It's got that sweetness from mm. the lemonade. But that is just beautiful snake bite in that cider and lager cider and lager isn't it yeah no cooper it's not a snake bite that is that is back to back 10 for me that that for me is a 10 i was not expecting to like the lemon one and for me out of those seven Cider top, yeah, like a cider top, coops, yeah, like a cider top, but with cloudy lemonade, really nice. The sweetness lemonade. of the lemonade, the zestiness of the lemon, the cider. Uh, for me, across those seven juices, mm -hmm. the one that stands out in front, miles above any of the others, is the cloudy lemon, yeah. Closely followed by the berry blue. Hello, Jess. Hey, Jess. Then the the cloudy lemon by far. Mm -hmm. Closely followed by the berry blue for me. Those two juices are the tops. Yeah, out of that seven. And what was the one you picked last week? It was the ice cider that you took home last week, wasn't it? Or oh, didn't take home? It's still there. Yeah, but they are real good. I wish I had waited till this week to pick the one I'm keeping because I'd have been keeping Cloudy Lemonade. Well, Cloudy Lemon. to say that it is my week to pick one, I know, and I am torn. I am torn between uh, Dick Duffy, you are a knob heed, uh, Daniel Ian Lee, 
Olive, you're a fucking dickhead. So there's only one thing I can really do, to be fair. What? I've got to flip a coin, dude. I cannot choose between those two. Deep Duffy, you are such a knob heed. So, tails, it's very I blue. think, I think, after you flip the coin for which juice you're having, we need to flip a coin to decide whether, does Deep Duffy remain Tag Master General or does Deep Duffy become Tag Master Knob Heed? Fair dues, we can do that, not a problem. Uh, so, tails, I keep the very blue. Heads, I get the... If, while you're flipping coins, have you sent a link yet? No, not yet. Because the view isn't over. All right, I'm going to do it now. It's heads. What did I say head was? Heads is a lemon. I flipped my coin to do it. Yeah, lemon. Lemon. So that means that the other three go with the two from last week into the uh, next accumulator. Um, Daniel, Daniel, I think banging is a good way to describe something. Daniel, I think dickhead is a good way to describe someone who uses the word banging. Scott has just walked in and you said that naughty word. Uh oh. <laughs> the look on Catherine's face. You come to say good night, darling? Yeah, I got yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Right, love you. Good okay. no, night. Bye. 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 Right. Right. Bye. Bye, darling. Sweet dreams. So that's review done and dusted. Thank you very much to KLB for again supplying yeah. us with juice. And yeah. hats, off to, uh, hats off to Vape Cargo. Yeah. Right. So we have a very, 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 <laughs> very special person back Get all that off the screen. All right. Well, you can click buttons as well as I can. Happy now? My pay grade is higher than button clicker. <laughs> right. How about you introduce and bring on our uh, our guest for the evening? Right. So we have a special guest. I'm sure you all know who it is. But here he is. Lads, it used to be me and Wilson that bickered every Monday to Monday night. Now it's you two buggers. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Cooper. Uh, what's your Good evening, chaps. Thanks for letting me on. Um, as, as most people will know, I promised I would take on a payback challenge um, as I was the uh, official loser in the Cooper versus Wilson challenge during the course last year. Um, and as Chrissy and Rob were good enough to uh, take part in the great British KOV Bake Off last week, um, I said that I would complete that misery and um, eat a full slice of flapjack and a full slice of um, carrot cake, which nice. contain a certain degree of secret ingredients, which includes bovril, mm -hmm. soy sauce, peppercorns, and pork scratchings. And I have to tell you, you can see the bloody pork scratchings. <laughs> Look at that lot. Nice. I've got to say, when, say, when Rob, Rob and Chrissy described this as oinking, it absolutely reeks of bovril. They, they've nice. had a advantage of being able to eat it fresh on the day. This uh, is now this is now eight days old. I'm and Wilson wanted to eat that Wednesday. I know, yeah. <laughs> no chance. Oh. No chance. So this thing, is going down tonight and hopefully staying down. Have you got a bucket up in that loft just in case? No, but I'm a good shot. 
Well, so keep... if it's okay with you guys, um, I'll crack on. Get on with it then. Uh, we'll drop out and leave you to it. I'm not Beat a fan of the flat jack, so I'm, I'm, go I'm going to start with the uh, with the um, the carrot cake, which is a rather large piece, and uh, you can see the bloody pork scratchings in it. It does absolutely reek of bovril. Here we go, boys and girls. You can hear in the crumb. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. The peppercorns are present. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's you're adding to the flavour a little bit. Um, oh, it's pork scratching. Mm hmm. I'm not sure if the bovril is adding anything to this at all. Probably not. And I'm guessing eight days in, the pork scratchings are probably extra crunchy now. I will really say that the cake is very moist. The texture's lovely. Jesus Christ. The taste um, is shite. <laughs> it's going in. It's all gone. No, that, that can't be a whole slice because I didn't see any frosting. Could keep frosting on it for eight days and post it, knobhead. Yeah, the box scratchings. You could taste them. And they've gone moist. They've gone soggy. Oh. There's one stuck at the top of my mouth, hang on. Oh, oh, oh. I'm getting more soy sauce on this one. Uh, that must be another special ingredient that Mr. Coles puts in because his carrot cakes never go dry. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what they're doing. <laughs> Good God. I can imagine if this was an actual proper carrot cake, this would be delicious. Well, it is an actual proper carrot cake, just with yeah. added extras. I mean, to be fair, you've got no one to blame but yourselves for setting on the challenge. Absolutely. But I'll lead by example. Yeah. Oh. To be fair, the ingredients of this carrot cake sound like something the Chinkies would be eating in starting COVID-21. <laughs> Pork scratchings do not crunch very well when they've gone soggy. Oh. A little bit. I can't believe he's still got the flapjack to go as well. And what's the ingredients of the flapjack? It's all gone. Exactly the same, except this time, it's a flapjack rather than a carrot cake. It has peppercorns, which I can you can clearly see. Yeah. In the back there, it's got pork scratching, which you can clearly see in the front there. Yeah. yeah. The top. Has it gone a bit and, harder uh, for last week? This absolutely reeks of bovril as well. Nice. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go for a one biter on this one. <laughs> the bovril is lingering a little bit, boys and girls. I have to tell you that. Wow. And I thought I would a gob on me. When he throws up in his sleep oh. tonight, can't he be happy. I'm that's sure Kirsty let us know. It's worse than the carrot cake by the looks of it. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <coughs> Stuart's off just thinking about it. I, I really thought Chrissy was exaggerating last week, but seeing, no, the, look on, <laughs> seeing the look on Cooper's face. The bovril is very overpowering in the flat, Jack. Mm hmm. Um, and it's making it go all yummy. You can't chew the bloody thing to feet. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think you better teeth before you uh, it's going it's down. Yes. Just rotten up the side of your mouth. Oh. Um, yes, I like Bovro. Not with soy sauce, peppercorns, no. and pot scratching. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> yeah, good shout, Rob. The oats soak up the moisture. So it's just a whole bottle. He's done it. He's done it. 
kept them both burnt. For now. How long for? We don't know. I mean, it's got to sit on my stomach, yeah. In... There is a hint of ginger or syrupiness about that flapjack, mm -hmm. which possibly saved it. Yeah. The rest of it was bovril. No. <laughs> Brilliant. I have to say, though, I have to say, uh, Rob won on the scores last week. Yeah. And no, it's syrup, isn't it, Chris? It's syrup. I can taste the syrupy. And I think that was probably a fair result, mainly because I'm not a flapjack fan. I do love my carrot cake. Yeah. I think the pork scratchings work better in the carrot cake. Possibly coagulated a little bit too much in the syrup amongst the flapjack and such like. Um, so I think it was a fair result for Rob to win. If I was going to score that one, I'd give Rob a one and Chrissy a zero. Fat yeah. Rick, Bob Rule. Fair. Fair. Awesome. So having experienced one of the payback challenges yourself, Coops, has this put you off dishing out any more payback no this has made me absolutely more determined to ensure that <laughs> everyone everyone as i've now done mine receives payback in full yeah i think it's the only fair thing to do i'm a very very yeah. fair bloke you know I'm a fair yeah, yeah. and I, I think it's the only fair thing to do we've got uh three or four left that we need to catch up with mr yes. staten of course Kaylee, and a couple more of those that got involved in it last year um still to take part in this so i'm looking forward to dragging them in as well um, I've got a couple of very interesting challenges lined up. Nice. <laughs> Daniel Ian Lee says, where does that put Cooper on the leaderboard? Well, oh, at the moment, the leaderboard is a bit tight at the top, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm at the bottom. Uh, it's myself. It is Mr. Deke. Yes. Spooner. Yeah. Rob. And Rob. Or jostling for first place on that leaderboard at the minute. Yeah. I'm getting a repetition of Peppercorn now. Yeah, you will do. Hashtag um, silly sandwich. Yes, that was another well, good one. Kayleigh has to do the silly sandwich. Yeah, I'm sure she'll do it. It's just a question of when. Yeah. Um, Mr. Staten, we've already got a challenge for, but Mr. Staten, he works away from home a lot, so it's often difficult to catch him free on a Monday. Yeah. Yeah. And there are a couple of others as well that we want to uh, get dragged in. And then, of course... We have the forfeits challenge coming, which at the moment is a is a, 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 a contest between yourself, Stu, and yeah. uh, the very Five. wonderful Mr. Five Pete. Look forward to that one as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Mick Cartman, just because uh, you're on YouTube, don't mean I ain't going to show it, you grass. Um, I can supply a list of all known people involved in the challenge, Coops. Don't, don't worry, Mick. Don't worry, Mick. We have a full list available to us. <sighs> Good God. The peppercorn is now quite intense. <laughs> Repeating a little bit? Yep. You will be tasting that for most of the evening, no? Well, I have to say, I've not had my tea yet. I thought it was probably best to leave it until after I've completed this challenge. Yes. Good idea. A, a late supper for me this evening. Um, possibly not carrot cake. No. 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 What you need now, Coops? Is a cloudy lemon. Oh, so, yeah. Now that one, that one, and the mixed berry one sounded absolutely delicious. Uh, I can see myself, the Jamie said I've been sat in the park. I can see myself sat at the side of my pond, rod and reel, floating in the water, and just a full yeah. tank of the berry one, and especially the cloudy lemon as well, because that sounds right on my street. The cloudy lemon coops, honestly, head and shoulders above the other the six. The interesting thing that that, that uh, you said earlier on in your critique of the other two, um, I know that the guys from Vape Cargo, I mean, they, they, I speak to them on a regular basis. They have watched these reviews. They've taken on board everything that's been said. They will be very interested uh, to hear the review of the strawberry because I, I think that is a racial issue, Stu. I'm pretty certain it is. I yeah. think what's happened is they're taking the peach out and haven't compensated for that, leaving the cider quite strong and overpowering and the strawberry mm -hmm. not quite there enough. Yeah. And what I would do if I was them, and I'm going to make this recommendation to it, is don't increase the strawberry, add lime. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, bring out strawberry and lime. Absolutely. Strawberry and lime, yeah, that would yeah, be amazing. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Chrissy, I'm gonna be brushing my teeth on the way down, don't worry. But when you do speak to him again, Coops, please uh thank him for again supplying some great juices and for yourselves as well for shipping them down. Not not a problem. Not not a problem. We we I mean me and Wilson love these reviews as well and, and love watching you guys and Jesse VR do them. Yeah. And uh to, to get to get that kind of feedback, a real honest uh, set of feedback for vape cargo is invaluable. Awesome. Um, which is why when we are ready to break some more news, we'll break some more news and uh, it'll involve you, lads. Awesome. Yeah, it. yeah, they've done a great job so far, couple. Yeah. But even the ones you critique, you can't call them bad juice because they're not. No, nah, they're, they're all premium juices, premium yeah. concentrates, uh, ISO condition mixed. By a proper mixologist, um, you know this is this is good stuff. Uh, it's it's as good as anything you'll buy anywhere, certainly in this country and probably 100%. in the world. When we launched Vape Duty Free three years ago or so in the first shop, uh, I I'll be quite honest. I'd never tasted a range like that in my life. I'd reviewed a lot of juice to that point, and I'd never reviewed a range that I thought to myself, "Good God, there is not a single one in this range that I wouldn't pick up and vape daily." Every single one of them, and yeah. three or four of them, the 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 Chinese uh, lemon tea and the double hooker took me totally by surprise. I didn't expect to like either of them. Absolutely loved them, and their frozen banana, the banana chill. Oh, God Almighty! Yeah, the, the thing I like with vape cargo, they're not afraid to try flavors. Absolutely, they did it at the outset with vape duty free. They put things together that you wouldn't imagine. When that flavour range first come through to us, I thought, this is never going to sell. It's never going to sell. You know, it's going to sit on the shelf for, for months and months and months. Nobody's going to try this. I had the testers set up within five minutes of opening the first bottle. And it yeah. flew off the bloody shelves over yeah. and over and over again. Amazing flavours. But great company, great people. And they produce absolutely top quality juice. No question about it. The, the way I look at Vape Cargo with some of their juices... And this goes back to my training as a chef. Mm. You get it drummed into your head. You taste with your tongue, not your eyes. You look yeah. at the bottle and think, ugh. Yeah. You're looking at it, you never tasted it. How do you know? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But um, they've done a lot of stuff with the rebranding as well, which I think is a great move on their part. Yeah. Uh, because... The ranges that we've tried back end of last year and this year, these the new bottles are awesome, but the yeah. brand the bottles as well is yeah. just spectacular. It uh, is really standout brands in really yeah. stand out. Yeah, because I've got some of the older older stock back there yeah. uh, in my own collection, but I really do like the newer bottles. Yeah, yeah I, I do as I well. Do. I do. And it's the other kind of people who will take on board what's said and they'll make the changes that are needed and They'll change it if necessary. And I think with the strawberry one, there definitely needs to be a change. And uh, I'll speak to them tomorrow about that. Yeah, definitely. Are you going to get to try these anytime soon, Coops? Do I get what? Sorry? Are you going to get to try these anytime soon? I've got a parcel on the way. Loads of people's parcels seem to have landed today, but mine bloody hasn't. <laughs> Bless. Mine's always last. I won't mind. It goes out the same time as everybody else. They're all posting pictures in the bloody VIP group and on, on Facebook. <laughs> Man hasn't turned up. You know what I mean? Unless, <laughs> unless he's sent it to himself again. Yeah, probably. Same as last time. Sent the bugger to himself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you never know. Nah, it'll be here. It'll be here when it gets here. Brilliant. Well, you do have a treat coming your way, Coop. Tell you that for nothing. Yeah, really, really looking forward to it. I really am. Um, we had a range. We had the, I think it was the Cider Farms range in uh, a couple of years ago in yeah. the fair shop. And there were some nice flavours among that. And then there were some flavours that I thought tasted a little bit bitter. But it sold well. People liked it. If if this is an improvement on that, if this is a better side of flavour than that, then... I then have... The right street. I think, actually, because I've been sorting my room out today, I've actually come across a pack. I, uh, uh That one? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't go much on them. Oh, bait cargo all over it, mate. This absolutely... Pisses all over that. To, really? To put it bluntly, yeah. I, I would hope it does, but 
But there was a oh, couple of side farms arranged that I really liked. And then there was three or four that I just thought was so... They were slightly bitter. And I think that's probably because the, the, the cider concentrate probably just wasn't quite right. Yeah. But you know with Ape Cargo what you're getting. And, you know, even if you're not particularly keen on certain flavours, you know full well it would be quality. And it always is. So, yeah. you know. See... The, the standard throughout the mall, the cider is real nice. It's not a bitter, it's not sharp, it's a nice, balanced cider. And, and, and then, that is where you want the consistency yeah. in the base flavour. It's a cider drink. You want that consistency in that base flavour. So it makes it, regardless of which fruit you choose to, to take, that base flavour makes it instantly recognisable. You need that in a range that's going to be based on something like cider. Yeah. And that berry blast, you get that nice yeah. sweet cider, and then the berries, the blue, blue berries, berries. Yeah. yeah, the blueberries and the probably blue raspberries are quite tart. And then right at the end, just for a few seconds, you get a sweet hit on your tongue. It, I, I'm it sure would, it's black currant. I, I think you're probably right. It wouldn't surprise me at all if there's like a half a percent of something of black currant just dashed in there it just is to bring that sweetness through yep it is it's amazing uh, how you mix fruit sometimes and and something like a, a raspberry which is quite sweet and you add the bitterness of the blueberry they can sometimes take one from the other but if you play with it and you get that and you add that little bit of something that just gives it that i don't know something it can it can bring out the best it's like salt and pepper on your food yeah. You sometimes just need to add a little something that brings out the best of the flavours. Yeah. Uh, and blackcurrant's one of them that does that, I think. A hundred percent. If it wasn't for that little hit of sweetness at the end, there would be a different juice. Yeah, yeah. But you, you you vape it and your cider's as standard and then you think to yourself, whoa, the berries, they're actually quite tart. Yeah. And then you get that little hit of sweetness, which I think is blackcurrant. Yeah. And then it makes you want to have that sourness again, just to get yeah, the black it does, out. Yeah, yeah, I love, I love flavours like that. And yeah. the interesting thing about this range is these are all apple cider based. <laughs> None of these are pear cider based. No. So there's there's room to move these over to a pear based cider, and that could be an interesting expansion of this range, because when you start taking the apple out and making a pear cider, the cider yes. tastes different, and all of a sudden the fruits that you're adding to it can be complemented as well and, and make it an absolute banging range. I, I, I know I've, I've spoken to, to Imran about this a couple of weeks ago and they're looking at a, a, a pear variant of the apple cider range because all See, these are apple. I said that last week with the... Uh, you did, you did. Strawberry and pear. Yeah. It would be amazing for a pear cider with strawberry. Yep. It would, yeah. It awesome. Would. Yeah. That would be amazing. Because the undercurrent of that cider is an, is an apple base. Yeah. Make it a pear base and you've all of a sudden you've got a different vape. There's, yeah. there's potential with that range, there really is. And Loads. it'll be exciting to see what, what, what comes next with it. Yeah. Plus, we've got all these other ranges that we're we're going to be heading into over the next six, seven, looking more like nine, ten, eleven weeks, weeks when yeah. the comes in. So, you know, it's gonna be interesting to see how these ranges compare. Definitely. As, that's that's a question for you two guys. As a range, how does the cider range as a whole rate? Are we the other ones we've reviewed? I'm, I, I, I absolutely love the cider, but yeah. I'm a cider drinker. Yeah. Across, across all seven mm. bottles, the whole range, I would score <coughs> an eight to nine out of ten. Yeah, that, that's all range. That. And, and 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 that's of a seven bottles. That's that's a decent score. Yeah, it, it is. really is. Because invariably, in, in any range, there's one or two that you don't particularly like, or one or two that you can crib more than the others, or flavours that you really don't like vaping. So, but when you get a range that you can score between eight and nine as a range, I think that's a very very good score. I think if they tweaked a couple of them, the strawberry. Being one of them, yeah. that should be strawberry um, lamb. That should be strawberry lamb. The strawberry pear yeah. last week. Yeah, I think if they tweak those two, yeah, it would be a nine or a ten across the range. Amazing, amazing, hundred percent. Yeah, 
that that's that's fantastic. The good the lads will be really really pleased with that. They really really will. And as we move on to the 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 other ranges that we've got coming, um, it can only uh, get more and more interesting as the weeks go by. Yeah, very, very nice. Family yeah, there's some interesting ones sat up there that I can't yeah, wait. I know. To I know. Some some of them I'm really looking forward to as well. Yeah. Sammy. Once we got you here, Cooper. Yeah. Would you like to? Because, uh, oh well, because I'm lazy. Would you like to do the uh, what they call it? You know the thingy. Do be fucking commentary on our. Duck oh, face. go on, then I'm here now, aren't I? Yeah, Fuck you now. That was a difficult word to remember. Yeah. Oh, no. I really got stuck. Right, Arkham. How many ducks do we need? We need sixteen. That was a good guess. Right, uh, Mr. Harkham, on your set, so Mr. Cooper will start commentating. Go. An even break. Come on, one. Come on, one. What are you playing at? <laughs> three's gone out in front. It's a bloody red duck. We don't like red. Piss off back three. Come on, one. Uh, we've got four, five, nine, ten, sixteen on the outside. Twelve's making a breakthrough along with fifteen. Five's dropping back. Three's coming. Three. Piss off. Come on, one. 15 on the outside, 10 in the middle, 6 is now taking the lead. Got a beak in front. I'm really not liking the way 3's running at all. 1, it's the Sherlock Holmes duck. Just stick out one of your bloody brolly things on one of your walking sticks and jab it in the eye, for Christ's sake. Uh, 1 on the near side, 6 is making a little bit of a comeback. 10's uh, consistent in the middle. Oh, my God, where's 14 come from? Out of nowhere. It's a big thumbs up for the NHS. Well done, duck 14. And that is... Mr. Mick Cartman. Who is on YouTube. Who is yeah. on YouTube. He'll be here. He's not going anywhere. He's waiting for me to throw up. And that is his second one this month. If he claims it. He will. Deep claim for Mick. He's on YouTube. <coughs> He's still watching. I've claimed for him anyway. I thought you said we were getting strict. We are. We are very strict, yeah. No point me ever bring up the fucking timer, is there? <laughs> he's there anyway, look. He's claimed himself. He's here, he's here on 50 seconds. Diamond. One more, and then we're going to uh, let Mr. Cooper go and throw up in private. Yeah. Ready, Arkham? Go. Come on, one. Come on. What the <laughs> bloody hell's that dinosaur duck? Number seven taking a quick lead. One's not. One's doing all right here. Three piss off. Uh, what the hell is that one on the outside? Is that a red Indian duck? Where is it? It's Captain Marvel. Oh, it's a Captain Marvel duck. <laughs> it is. Six, six back in for another go. Three is getting on right on my nerves. Really bad time. 12 on the outside, 15, 16 looks as though it was coming, but it didn't uh, quite manage it. There's an alien in the middle as well. And and th that, this is the reason those buggers don't talk to us. How do we yeah. have a Morgan Freeman duck? Come on, one! Where the bloody hell's one? Go on, one! Come on! Pedal, pedal, pedal! Go on, you bugger! Get it! Come on, Well done, duck one. You, uh, you called that one early keeps? Certainly did, mate. <laughs> and that I'm is a little bit biased. Second time this month for Abby's funds. Get in. Happy days. Everyone's chuffed. Love it, love it. Stars are coming in. Yeah, yeah. I'm on there twice yeah. this month now. Am I on there? Have I yeah, you, yet? Have yeah I? you were a bad cup. You remember. were number two. Awesome. Uh, when are we drawing that? When are you drawing that one, Harkham? Uh, now then, we've moved King Gola to buy a monthly, so it would have been this Saturday, wouldn't it? It would have. So we we will do it again this Saturday. So we'll just do it this Saturday anyway. So Saturday of the sixth. Put that over there, so I know. Oh, it's accumulating night. Yeah, excellent. I yeah. might uh, might do a cheeky little uh, 
wheel spin for that night for one more person to get their name on the entries. We'll we'll do your warm up act about six o'clock, lads. But don't worry, we know you're the main attraction at ten at ten, whatever time it is you're coming on. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Thank you for being our fluffer, Cooper. No, yeah. that's no problem, Paul. You know, <laughs> so it's, uh, it's an absolute pleasure for someone. So, uh, whose turn is it for the rundown of the week, Cooper? Are you right to stay before? We're just going to finish up now. I'll, I'll have you... a go for it, boys and girls. Um, right, tomorrow night we've got uh, JCVR. Uh, who'll be with us around about 8 30 ish. Um, I do believe that Craig's present this week, or was he working overtime? I've forgotten. He'd put himself down for overtime, but I'm not sure whether or not he'd actually got the overtime shift. So it'll certainly be Tom. He'll be reviewing the same juices that you've seen here tonight. So I'm looking forward to that. It may be if uh, Wilson releases the BT engineer from his freezer, we may be doing a live on Wednesday night as well when his internet is supposed to be back on. I'm not taking anything as gospel where BT is concerned because they're absolute shite. Uh, on Thursday night, you've got Mr. Daniel Ian Lee. And, of course, he's joined this week by uh, the lemon custard we all know and love as Lisa, or fluff to me. Yeah. Friday night, we've yet to announce Friday night yet. We're planning a couple of changes, so I'm not going to give anything away for Friday night. Saturday night... There can only be one way to start your Saturday night, boys and girls. That is Wilson and Cooper's Saturday night take. <laughs> everybody, everybody wants to be on the end of the show, show wheel, because that is where everybody wants to be. It's great fun. Join us. Watch us kick Ant and Dex ass. Um, we've got a couple of special, special, actually three special, special guests lined up. Availability is a big issue, but... You're going to be very interested with a couple of them, that's for sure. Everyone will be. After that, following later in the evening, it's usually at 10 o'clock, isn't it, lads? But are you going yeah. to do this? Nine. About nine, 10 o'clock ish, but later that particular evening, um, at the warm up at uh, the Wilson and Cooper Saturday night table will be followed by the main attraction, which of course will be stars of stage, screen, YouTube, salt casts, and reviews, uh, and calling people dickheads will be. These two gentlemen, Stuart and Jamie, the one and only Unhinged Vapors for the Elvis Accumulator. Don't miss out. Be there or be as bold as I am. Yeah. Endorsed uh, by Morgan. Uh, that, that shit is why the aliens won't talk to us. Yeah. On that note, it is a good night from him. And it's a good night from him. And it's a very good night from him. Go sorry to yourself. <laughs>